Hello, bonjour, and welcome to this new video. Today, I want to show you a collection of tips I have when I need to correct my drawing or my line art. Um, you will see, it's tips related to the features of Krita. So let's start. It's a very common scenario. You start your sketch, you reduce the opacity, you check the property of the layer, you uncheck the blue channel, so you get a cheap way to get some blue sketch and then you start to draw your inking on the top or refine it drawing or whatever how you call it. And then you press the M key, the key to see the mirror of your artwork and that's the drama. At that moment you suddenly realize your artwork is wrong. There is eyes above other, there is bad proportion, the volume are wrong, and sometimes the anatomy is wrong too. Uh, that's something you can see after doing a mirror. But what you can do really to fix it after this point? Ah, I will show it. My first move would be to just mirror again the canvas, so pressing M again, and then duplicate the inking layer. So I'm pressing here the duplicate layer or mask, echo. And then you can see that we have a problem. The line thickness is now very strong. And this is because we have two inking layer on top of each other. So we can just turn off the visibility of the layer under, but it will be complex just to compare each time I will do a modification on the layer on the top to just turn off the visibility and turn on the visibility of the layer under. So to solve this problem, what I like to do is to select both layer. So I press and I hold the shift key and then I click on the two layer in the layer stack. So now the two layer are selected and I press the control G to create a group. So now my two layers are inside a group and I will put a special blending mode on the layer on the top. So I go into the blending mode and I will unfold here the MISC category and I check here the copy blending mode. So you have a little checkbox. If you check it, you will get the copy blending mode in part of your favorite category here. So I'm selecting copy and now all the pixel of this layer will replace the pixel of this layer under. That's what the copy blending mode does. Uh, in short, it replaces even the transparency. So if I select an eraser preset and I just start to erase a part of my drawing, I will see here the sketch under. And if I draw something with black, like a new line, you will see that I will get like a sort of new version. And if I press the visibility of this new version, I will be able to just uh, compare with the version before. And this way to easily compare with your version before is very precious. If you do that very often with the visibility option, you can go to settings, configure Krita, and in the keyboard shortcut, just type visibility and you will get here the shortcut for the layer visibility. I set mine to the H key because I use it very often like that, just to compare. My second move, once I have this setup, is to just take a big eraser and erase everything I dislike. So for example, on this face, I dislike these eyes and also the shape of the face here. And now I need to go back to the origin of the failure. And the origin of the failure is obviously the sketch. The sketch uh, wasn't really well done to be gentle with it. So I would select the sketch, duplicate it, turn off the visibility of the original sketch and on the top sketch, I will just press delete. So all my layer will be now 
uh, available to draw. And then I will start to be able to take uh, whatever brush and start to sketch again the missing part. So this would take a little time and I will launch a time lapse for this part. So one thing that I'm doing right now is to try to find the good volume. And for that, I'm drawing a lot of guideline. The line for the eyes, but also some non-visible bones and also some proportion. I also keep pressing the M key to see my art in a mirror head way. It really helps at spotting more problem. There is one thing very important to keep in mind is about how the volume are in symmetry but in perspective and this is very hard to reproduce. And your audience will be very sensitive to all the problem related to face or to human parts. When it's done, you will see probably that you can uh, sometime push a little bit the accuracy with a slight deformation. So to deform, you just pick your layer. I advise you to deform only a small area, like uh, for example, selecting this one and press Ctrl T and this would call the transform tool. Then right click and press the liquify button here. Uh, then you will enter into a mode then where you can uh, deform by brushing your artwork. Sometimes this is very convenient. I, I do not advise to do that directly on your line art, but on your sketch it's fine. If you do that on your line art, uh, the distortion might be visible on your line and you don't want to, to get that on your line. Uh, while you are deforming, you can also press M, the mirror key, just to check if your deformation is good enough. When you are okay with your deformation, just press enter and it will bake the result. I will continue this process now on the two other faces. And now our layer stack is ready to receive the inking correction. It's really not an easy process to fix uh, our own error, mainly because we are a bit blind to them. But with a good process, a good method, we can probably fix most of them. That's what I'm trying to show here in this video. And that's all for today. I hope you learned something. If you want to follow my work and get fresh news, I'm on this social media and you will find the link into the description. Um, if you want also to support my work, big thank you. Uh, the link are also into the description. Uh, like, subscribe and everything also helps a lot the channel. So thank you for that too. And see you later. Bye bye.